Okay, for the neck rotation zone exercise, this is probably something everybody is familiar with to some extent or another. The only thing you really need to be conscious of when you're doing this is how you're breathing and where you're feeling tension. So you want to let your head naturally follow the range of motion that feels right to you. You're going to inhale as you start to go to the side and backward, and then you want to exhale as you start rotating toward the other side and beginning to come forward once again. Something that you'll see later in this video is that I'm taking these kind of pauses in certain areas where I'm really starting to feel a lot of tension and I'll just kind of pause there and take one or two extra breaths through that and just think of breathing through that muscle. So you do want to also do the other direction. You don't just want to go through one of these and you want to shoot for about 20 reps in each direction and you just want to follow a nice slow and controlled breathing pattern. Because this is another zone five exercise, it's again believed to be connected to the throat chakra your C3 through seven vertebrae, your thyroid, parathyroid gland, uh, your neck, shoulders, arms, and hands. You might even actually notice kind of like an electric feel in your arms when you do this. One of the reasons that I think I like this one so much is because it is something that you can do seated as well. So if you're just sitting trying to get some work done or trying to get something done artistically, I sometimes will just take a minute or so, go through this zone exercise, and it does seem to kind of take away that writer's block. But that's about it, guys. I'll see you later.